여, 이, 여기 잘라줘 이게 뭐야 이게 이거 <웃음> 뭐야 <웃음> 나 지금 나오면서 신발 갈아 신으려다가 <웃음> And then I looked at Dave and I was like Nah <웃음> An avocado smoothie that they recently came out with Look at it And this is the acai smoothie And we're gonna do a taste test uh, Jay got the coffee So this just tastes like the berry smoothie. Oh, my God, my so. Ah, because it's hot. That's our lunch. What's your favorite? Uh, the acai. Is my your favorite? Yeah. What about you? Yeah, the rainforest. The acai smoothie. What's your favorite? I think I like this. I've never had anything like this before. So while I started doing my makeup, I thought, why not share the products that I love? So let's do a little makeup video that I haven't done in forever. Contacts I'm currently wearing is the Russian Smoky from Olens. I have foundation and brows done, so the next step would be eye makeup. I'm gonna be using this 3CE Dry Bouquet Palette. And the colors I'll be using is this, this, Also, I just, even though they're different colors, I just use one brush. So light pink is on. Now we're gonna go with this shade right here. It looks super pink on camera, but in person it doesn't look that pink. I think this is good for just the color and I'm gonna top it off with this Glitter Bomb palette. Again, from 3CE. Take my fingers and just, just tap it on. So for the eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Kaja Wink Stamp, Wing Eyeliner Stamp. Two sides of this eyeliner, there's the left side and the right side. And it's supposed to make your wing liner super fast, super easy, so let's give it a try. Never tried this before. Uh, kind of nervous. Okay, that's definitely not it. So I can kind of see how it's supposed to work, but I don't know, maybe it's my eye shape can't really figure out how it's supposed to work so let's just I kind of got this side right but it's not the shape that I usually like for my eyeliner um, so just did a little quick refix I'm gonna dry that up I'm just gonna go back with this Kaja Beauty eyeliner pen um, sometimes old school is best so I'm just gonna go back this eyeliner and yep there we go this is Exactly what I needed. I always tug my eye a little and then something like that. I think that's fine. That eyeliner is done. Now I'm gonna use the Mude Dreamy Glitter and apply it in my little inner corners. Under eye glitter done. Next step is mascara. This eyelash curler is from Shiseido. I got it from Sephora. I know usually when people go to events, they put on false lashes, but I just feel like false lashes don't look good on me. I don't know if it's my eye shape or if I'm just not finding the right um, eyelash shape for my eyes, but it just makes my eyes look super heavy and just like super sleepy and I never wear it. Um, but I do love a good mascara. This time I'm going to use Mude Volume Curling Mascara in the shade 1 Black. My makeup is done. It's super simple. And I really don't have any tips or tricks. I just do it fast. There's really nothing, so I know I'm not really sharing much, but I just wanted to show you guys the products that I use on a daily basis. Next, we're gonna do blush, then lips. 
So for blush, I usually just use one product, but because I'm going to an event and I wanna feel like I put a little more effort into my makeup, I'm gonna be using two blushes. I'm gonna use the 3CE Mono Pink as a base. And then I'm also gonna use the And Other Stories blush in canvas taupe to add a little more pop of color. I am a huge blush person and I just love blush and always go crazy. I don't know if you can see on camera, but already going crazy like this color for the darker color i just like to put it like a little pop in the middle of my cheeks kind of just blend it out now for my favorite part lips if you guys saw my recent uh instagram or tiktok um i literally just went crazy uh, and got so many lip products from Majiga mansion so I have a lot to choose from. Um, normally, if this was just like my daily makeup, I would for sure go for like a nude light pink, but because I'm gonna be going to an event and taking pictures, I'm gonna, again, use more than one product just to feel like I'm doing a little something for myself. And I'm probably gonna use this as a base um, and then top it off with some kind of I'm thinking this like fuchsia pink or I don't know. There's also another pink here. I don't know if you can tell the color difference, but this is more like a red pink. This is more of a pink pink and we have a red. So I think I'm gonna go with this combo and let's see how it looks. use my fingers a lot this is in shade one and this is in shade seven so there we have it this is the finished makeup look i know there's nothing special but now the plan is to get pick up the iphone come back quickly change then head over to the event so that's the plan for now so we're heading over to the apple store right now what color did you get Kaji purple. It's called the deep purple, but Koreans are saying kaji purple because it looks like a the eggplant emoji. Um, the color. Only Oprah Winfrey can get me to. So where are we going? Uh, we're going to the Born Pink pop up event. There by eleven, but we are running a little late. But we'll see what happens. Yeah. Sure. I actually don't want it. I do want okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Let me I get you another it. paper though. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see. So cool. And then this one. Okay. They're gifting us goodies. So we're trying to pick out the sizing. Just got back from the 
event. My hair looks so crazy. Um, but they gifted us merch. And inside we have a hoodie. All the members. I think this is a size medium because I wanted more of like a actual fit rather than oversized. There's also this pink Phantom t-shirt. I got this in oversized. This is extra large. In the back we have all the members. That's it. Thank you Spotify for inviting me to the pop-up. I had so much fun and I'm so excited for their new album. Um, I'll be listening to it for the longest time now. Now I'm gonna be unboxing. I got the iPhone 14 Pro in deep purple. Um, Dave got the same one. We're gonna unbox it. editing the video i didn't even show you guys after i put the screen protector on but i just put on a purple um, apple case to match the purple iphone um i was originally using a pro max model so at one point i just felt like it was way too big way too heavy for my small hands i love it i love the camera um usually i would when i take pictures i would go to a editing app and try to like get the colors to pop a little bit in the pictures but this camera you do not need any sort of editing only downside is the battery life um i don't know if it's because of the new software or whatever it is maybe i'm just used to using a pro max model which has a longer battery life but this battery life is actually not it um, i've also seen a lot of tiktoks of people complaining about it as well so i think it is a software update or a software issue and Apple is gonna do an update where hopefully it improves the battery life. If you guys have any feedback, let me know in the comments and if there's something that you guys would like to see, also let me know in the comments and I'll be back with another video very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Annyeong!